So amazingly, it's actually 28 degrees Fahrenheit outside, and in here, our thermometer says 68 degrees, and that's no supplemental heating. It's just the sun and the structure it, it protection it's offering. Uh, part of what can aid that is a double layer of poly air inflated, so it, it actually can um, add a little bit of a uh, few degrees of warmth, but it also buffers the wind and makes the, the structure uh, definitely more resistant to uh, winter conditions. The space has also got these gabled shutters to allow a little bit of ventilation. Um, it really creates you know, a great growing environment because uh, you also don't want to overheat, obviously, which could happen. So the ventilation through the top is important as well. So for double layer poly, it has to be air inflated. And generally you're gonna use an air inflation a unit such as this. It's a blower unit and it has a deflector on the outside that basically prevents the poly on the outside from drying out and uh, pushing and moving the air through the two layers. And then on the other side is actually a door that pulls the air in and only needs to be kept about a third of the way open uh, for sufficient inflation. Now these units do need to be run 24 hours a day by, you know, they're electrically powered, uh, but they can be hooked into an extension cord if electricity is not easily obtainable. When covering your greenhouse, it's important to consider double versus single poly layer. This is an example of a double layer air inflated greenhouse. And here we have it attached to the structure using wire lock and there's a wire lock channel here. So it wiggles its way in to secure it in place. Um, it's, if, you, if you can see up the greenhouse, there's like this bubble effect of where the layers are inflated. And that's really important. You want to have the tension uh, of the, the air inflating it to create a bubble. It, it helps to buffer it against wind. And on the inside, you can also use a infrared or IR poly. And what this is, it has a chemical additive glazing added to the plastic so that it has a couple of advantages. It is, allows for more heat retention in the winter and it has a dripless feature so that you don't get all the dripping that can come down onto your crops through the winter months. It sort of disperses it better. So here we're at Merritt Farm and this is an example of a stationary tunnel with the end wall uh, made out of poly, a single layer of poly. Uh, so you can see it's pretty easy to install. It's using wire lock um, with a wire lock channel, uh, easy to, to put up quickly. Um, however, disadvantages are that it is not going to be as warm, not going to be as wind resistant. Um, so definitely an inexpensive option, but not necessarily a good option for long term.